Good evening. My name is Father Castle, and I have the privilege of serving as the president of Bishop Kelly High School. And on behalf of Bishop Condola, the board of directors, the school administration, the faculty, staff, and the pastors of our great diocese, I wish to welcome you to the 61st commencement ceremony for Bishop Kelly High School. As a diocesan Catholic high school, for 61 years, BK has been fulfilling its mission to carry on the teaching ministry of Jesus Christ by providing a Catholic Lasallian education that develops individuals whose hearts and minds are prepared for a purposeful life. Class of 2021, I dare say you will always remember your senior year, marked by so many changes brought on by COVID-19. Amid it all, you continue to stay the course and have arrived at a pivotal moment in your life. As you walk across the stage tonight, you have completed the 720 days of being an active comment and joined the ranks of over 10,500 other alumni who have called Bishop Kelly home. Although these days have ended, we know that once a comet, always a comet. If you are an alum, would you please stand so that we can honor your presence with us today. Bishop Kelly is indeed a family, a network of individuals who make a profound impact in so many sectors of life. This evening, I would also like to take a moment to recognize Brother Richard and the Christian Brothers. For 61 years, this high school has benefited from the charism of St. John Baptist de La Salle, lived out and shared with others through the brothers who have taught, coached, provided pastoral care and leadership of this esteemed school. This year, Brother Richard will retire and move to Chicago, bringing the physical presence of the brothers on our campus to an end. Brother Richard, know how much this community loves you and all of the brothers who have served. Would you please stand so that we can show our appreciation? And so, graduates, as we begin this noble celebration that celebrates your hard work, I leave you with the encouragement of St. Paul, given to the Philippian community. And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and discernment, so you may know what is excellent and be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. I now invite Bishop Condola, the Bishop of the Diocese of Tulsa in Eastern Oklahoma, to open us in prayer. So let's take a moment to offer our evening in prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Holy and gracious God, Throughout the course of this year, you have surrounded us with your providence and your protection. We thank you for these gifts. We ask you to be with us this evening on the eve of Pentecost. Send us your Holy Spirit to inflame our hearts with love so that as we go out from this place, we may bring your love to all others. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Two seniors have been selected to speak on behalf of the class of 2021. They are Ms. Maggie Turner and Ms. Maddie Gomez. Oh, my bad. My bad. Oh. <laughs> Please stand for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Now, let's have Maggie Turner and Maggie Gomez come forward to deliver their speeches. There you are. Hey, you know, I think we should all give ourselves a round of applause just for surviving until the end. Come on. You know, it's good to get some validation every now and then, especially when high school is filled with crying, masks, tears, COVID, streams of tears flowing out of your eyeballs, AP literature, and, um, well, more crying. But through all the tears and sleepless nights, we survived. We did it. We are graduating. Time relativity is really pulling its weight right now because while the years seem long, the years, the individual years have gone by so incredibly fast. It feels like just yesterday I was dropped off at BK, my mom kissed me on the cheek, and she waved goodbye to me as I entered my first day of high school. But at the same time, that feels like an eternity ago. It feels like I just marked off days on a calendar, when in reality, four years, 16 quarters, eight semesters, 40 months, 144 weeks, and 720 days went by. But what happened? School happened, of course. You know, classes, homework, studying 12 different Quizlets just to pass Ms. Fur's geometry final. Extracurriculars happened, like football, baseball, robotics running through the hordes of students just to write your name down for the baking club, a club you will never attend. Parties definitely happened, and whether or not I was invited to them, I will forever remember our friend's horribly planned murder mystery party. But 
what happened. We're told that high school is the best four years of our lives. But if that is the case, then why do we spend all of our time preparing for college? If high school is simply a stepping stone to future success, then why is it considered the best four years of our lives? I remember being so excited for BK because I would hear all of these great stories from my mom and my sister about Mr. Aronson and how the PC building is literally the worst building to have ever been built. I remember touring BK and I was so excited to have all the same teachers and staff members that my family had before me. But now, I tour colleges and I only hear about undergrad and postgraduate success stories. So, why is high school the best four years of our lives? Is it because we are not adults so we have no responsibility? Well, I mean, I work and so did many other students to support themselves and their families, so it just can't be that. Is it because we can party? Well, no. I certainly didn't spend all my time partying and I wouldn't want to. Is it the academics? While I am forever grateful to all the amazing teachers I had here at BK, I will try my hardest to never take another math or science class ever again in college. So then what is it? What is it that makes high school a cliche teen rom-com or an intense dramatic miniseries? Well, it's because we haven't matured. We haven't been fully edited yet. We have just gone through puberty, tortured during pre-production. But we are still writing our story as our emotions and interests attempt to direct the film of our lives. For me, high school was a friend comedy and an anxiety-ridden competition movie. One where I compete in academics and speech and debate and where I compete with my pride to accept a B in honors geometry. For others, high school might have been a romantic comedy about learning to communicate and running for Stuco. Maybe it was a sports film, jam-packed with games and scenes filled with strategic plays. Or maybe high school was a drama filled with stress and tears and struggling to understand why the world forces us to grow up. Or high school was a mix of all of these, illustrating a unique, one-of-a-kind biopic. Why is high school the best four years of our lives? In all honesty, I don't know. But it's a set that keeps on running. It's a set that has been worn down by its actors and its production team. But we keep rebuilding it over and over again. So we can direct the next film of our lives. So. Even if there are tears along the way, remember that you are capable of making it through life as well. And while in the future, your high school film might be, I don't know, your fifth favorite film of all time, you still remember it. You will forever replay your favorite scenes from your high school movie in your mind and in your tales. And 
you will continue to reflect on the character that you once were and how it helped to write your next story arc. Thank you, Miss Mary Gomez. Good evening, parents, faculty, staff, administrators, family and friends, fellow Comets, class of 2021, and the other 29 people I paid to sit in the audience and cheer for me. They never miss their cues. I am blessed and thankful to be speaking to you all at our last gathering as a Bishop Kelly community. To all the faculty and staff that are here, I'll do my best to keep it brief, but only because my dad made a dinner reservation at El Tequila after this. You made it, right, Dad? <laughs> to the parents, thank you all for being here, especially the moms. I speak for the class of 2021 when I thank you for bringing us Chick-fil-A at 8 a.m. in exchange for weird $5 auction gifts that were never on time, and for emailing Mr. Franz and Father Castle on our behalf, asking for a cyber day when we thought the temperatures might drop below freezing. To the siblings, this speech won't convince you to come to Bishop Kelly's, so you can stop listening now. It's okay to get on your phones, but if you do, follow me on Instagram, Madeline Gomez, two A's. <laughs> to the grandparents and Coach Fraley, according to the CDC, you're risking your life being here, so I hope my speech is worth it. <laughs> to the alumni, thank you for the example you set during your time at BK. But before you start asking about skirt rules and Oxford shirts, yes, the PC is still here for now. And finally, to the class of 2021, this is it. We made it. There's only a 0.0006% chance we see a comet streaking across the night sky, so thank goodness there are 200 of you to light up our evening. In all seriousness, this year has been a roller coaster ride, and we couldn't have done it without everyone's support. When the opportunity speak to, you, to speak to you arose, there was this giant list of students who were allowed to speak. Um, I wasn't on the list, but I wasn't really bothered by it. I was just like, okay. But Miss Shipley, you know, speech and debate student, I had to do it. So I talked to Mr. Franz, I wrote a speech, but I still, you know, I wasn't on the list, so I can't just give a speech. So he had to talk to Mr. O, and then Mr. O talked to Miss Shipley, and then the two of them, with Mr. Franz's help, talked to previous staff members, current staff members, current students, and I actually never made it on the list. So. I hope this is okay. <laughs> there were moments I genuinely thought I wouldn't make it to this day. And there was one moment in my BK career that I was like, there's no way I'm walking across this stage. It was my junior year, and I was in second block, and I got a purple note from my counselor summoning me to the dreaded MQP back office. And so I went, very confused where I was going, and I sit down. And she meets me with the words with um, Maddie, you know that to go to Bishop Kelly there are certain requirements. And I was shaking. I was pretty scared because I was like, is she going to kick me out right now? <laughs> and so I was like, yes, ma'am, I know. I am so sorry. Um, if it's a test, I'll make it up. If it's, you know, homework, I'll get on it. And she was quiet for a minute. And then she looked me dead in the eyes. And she was like, you're not going to graduate if you don't get a head start on these requirements. It's your junior year. This was a serious conversation. I was scared. And if you know me, which I think a lot of you do, you know that I like to be on task. 
I like to have a good set of rules. I'm a good person. I say my prayers. I laugh at Father Castle's jokes when nobody else will. I'm sorry, Father Castle. Please let me graduate. But I was pretty scared. But then she said, you have to go to PE class, Maddie. And so off I went, and I did PE for two whole quarters, and it was really hard. It was a hard class. But the Zumba episode of Jane Fonda is so good. And I don't tell you this story as an encouragement to do Jane Fonda. But if you wanted to, I'm sure Coach Garrett would let you use the tapes. Yeah, the tapes. Girls PE still uses VHS tapes. I tell you this story to bring light to all of the unexpected joys that being a Comet has brought me. Our class has encountered more unexpected, unexpected challenges than anyone could have ever imagined. Whether it be the coronavirus pandemic, I couldn't give this speech without mentioning it, the Christmas tree decorating competition in the Commons that only got advertised for two days, and I'm pretty sure the seniors should have won. The daily quizzes in Mr. Simon's class that we all knew were coming, but just pretended we didn't. The rainy days before we had breezeways. Thank God the school gave us free umbrellas. I mean, Chromebooks. The distance learning PowerPoints doing KP. Thank you, Mr. Pratt. And of course, the unignored largest challenge that we faced as a community, the tragic and painful death of Swim Shady. May God rest his soul. But in the past four years, it has been made clear that for every unexpected challenge, there are a number of unexpected joys. This class, despite every barrier thrown our way, has accomplished more than I can fit in just this speech. From winning the Spirit Stick our sophomore year, to having five national merit finalists, two commended scholars, 18 student athletes with signed letters of intent, 39,000 hours of Christian service, a seven-time state champion academic bowl team, cross country, tennis, volleyball, Boys and girls soccer, wrestling, speech and debate, track, golf, and swimming state championships, and a number of other qualifications and recognitions, I'd say that we make a pretty great group of kids. But this ceremony serves to change that. Now, when we move our tassel from left to right, we aren't kids anymore. We're comets. Being a Comet is the status that we've all been seeking for four years, and here we are. Behind all the jokes and smiles is reality. And after 720 days of walking these halls and countless hours of sleeping on Google Meet, our new reality is far beyond the walls of the Sea Wing. Being part of the class of 2021 has been a true honor. And along the way, we've made memories that will last me, and I'm sure all of you, a lifetime. I can confidently say that our legacy here will carry on for years to come. Four years ago, we all came to Bishop Kelly for the same reason, to prepare for our lives beyond the bounds of just education. It is fair to say, though, that some of the best lessons we've learned weren't taught in the classroom. I can say that the best lessons that I learned were from you guys, my fellow classmates. Our class has taught me, and I'm sure many of you, what real, true kindness looks like, what selflessness and compassion can do when put into action. In a world filled with so much uncertainty, it's hard to say what's going to happen next. And this class, more than anyone knows that. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. Every day is a gift. As I look around at my fellow classmates, family members, friends, and more. I can say one thing for certain, though. I am more than proud to be a Comet. Our class has something special. It's something that allows us to break down the unexpected barriers and rejoice in the unexpected success. It's something that can only be found in the heart of a Comet. 
When you search the definition of a comet on the internet, you find a stock definition from NASA about outer space and such. But I think a comet is much more than that. At the bottom of every email from the faculty and staff, it's signed Bishop Kelly Comets. At the cheers, at the football and basketball games, we cheer on the Comets. Bishop Kelly houses 936 students, ages 13 to 19, and we're all so different, with different talents, different experiences, different aspirations, but each and every one of us are Comets. Being a Comet means being part of a community. It means being a bridge between Christ and others. And most importantly, it means living a purposeful life. We're not guaranteed to see a comet in the night sky. It's .0006. <laughs> and we're lucky if we even get to see one in our lifetime. Unfortunately, not all of us are like Mark Twain, who was bored and died in the year of the most famous comet, the Halley Comet. But even if we can't see a lifetime famous comet, we get to be Bishop Kelly comets. As we sit waiting to get our diplomas and start a new chapter in our lives, we all have an opportunity, a once in a lifetime opportunity. We get to be that rare comet in everyone else's life. Wow, that's cool. As we continue on our journey to be great, we continue not just as the class of 2021, but as fellow comets. The road ahead is not clear, and there are trials and tribulations that we're bound to face. But being a comet gives us the ability to meet adversity with prosperity. It's like Father's We always says, feeling good like I should. Maybe he should say it a little less. I love you, Father Sweet. As I look out at all of you, I can't help but think about all of the things that we take for granted in this amazing life. Class of 2020, 2021, you are my hardest goodbye. Thank you for the best four years of my life. You guys are extraordinary. Before I wish you farewell, I want to leave you with a fun comet fact. Did you know that there are comets that blaze so brightly that you don't even need a telescope to see them? You can just look up and they're there. Not all of us will get to see one, and we probably won't, but scientists refer to these as great comets. So comets, the best is yet to come. Go be great. Thank you, Manny. Mr. Franz, principal of Bishop Kelly High School, will now present the salutatorian and valedictorian medals and the De La Salle Faculty Award. Well, first of all, thank you, Maddie and Maggie. You did a great job there. Our two academic awards are the salutatorian and the valedictorian award. The salutatorian is the second highest cumulative GPA. And for those of you who are in the stands, you might hear numbers and be surprised that students at Bishop Kelly can actually graduate with more than a 4.0 GPA. And that's because they take honors or AP classes that push that up. So our salutatorian, is graduating with a 4.5882 weighted cumulative GPA. She is a National Merit finalist. She's a Brother Bernadine Scholar, member of the National Honor Society, Link Crew Leader, Athletic Leadership Council. She's an Oklahoma Academic Scholar. She's been a member of the cross country and track team. She is headed to Baylor University in Waco, Texas, Abigail Hills. We'll come over there. 
Four medals. Lots of medals. One more medal. Yeah, one more medal. <laughs> okay, you're going to have to help me put this on, okay? Yeah, there you go. There we go. All right, and then you're going to look out. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a The highest GPA at Bishop Kelly is called the Valedictorian Award. The Bishop Kelly graduate who is the Valedictorian is graduating with a 4.6106 weighted cumulative grade point average. She also is a National Merit Scholar. She is also a National Recognition for Indigenous Students recipient. She is a Oklahoma academic scholar. She's a member of the Student Council, Photography Club, National Honor Society, Link Crew, Comet Ambassador. She's a cheerleader. She will be attending the University of Arkansas where she received the Honors College Fellowship. Jenna Thomas. Most of our award recipients tonight are students in the Bishop Kelly class of 2021. We take a little break from that for just a moment. We are actually going to present a faculty and staff award. We do that each year at graduation because it's our largest public ceremony. So the highest award for a faculty member is called the De La Salle Award is named after St. Jean-Baptiste de La Salle, who was the patron saint for all who work in education. He is also the founder of the Christian Brothers, born in France in the mid-1650s. The recipient is voted on by their peers, by the other faculty and staff, because they exhibit the spirit and faith and zeal characterized by the life of St. Jean Baptiste de La Salle. So our recipient of the 2021 de La Salle Award is one of Bishop Kelly's longest serving employees. In fact, he graduated from Bishop Kelly in 1970. He returned to work at Bishop Kelly, has managed student activities, he was inducted into the Bishop Kelly Hall of Fame in its seventh year of existence in 1992. His leadership class this past year was extremely successful. And how that happened was rather unusual. In August, we needed a class for about 25 young freshman girls. And Gary Oberstee set, happened to be in my office and said, we need a class, and we need you to teach that leadership class. So popular, we put it in the uh, pre-registration for next year, and 58 students signed up for leadership class. I'm going to read a few quotes from some people who are his peers, and one from a member of the class of 2021 person who works with him, Maggie Gable, said, most people in our community cannot think of Bishop Kelly without thinking of Gary Oberstee. He is Mr. Bishop Kelly. 
Gary has worked tirelessly to further the mission of our school. He is always willing to help a parent, a guardian, a student, a teacher, or an alum. There are not many people who are as generous with their time. Vice Principal Jeff Pratt says, Gary Oberstee is a friend, a mentor, a confidant, and the model of student leadership. Kathy Scribner, and her quote goes with a little bit of a footnote, Ms. Scribner is the most seasoned employee at Bishop Kelly. And there's a little rivalry between her and Mr. Oberstee, who's only been here for 45 years. I've heard that Ms. Scribner sort of mumbles under her breath that he's still a newcomer, her 46 years at Bishop Kelly. Ms. Scribner says, as you know, Gary is the eternal optimist. The Gary saying we have adopted at my house is, love it when it works. Even when it looks like an imminent disaster, Gary is sure it will work, as he was this graduation. And he will try harder than anyone to make sure students have a positive experience. President of the Student Council, Tristan Jones, says Mr. O is dedicated, kind, strong. He has made a major impact on my life, but also on the lives of thousands of Bishop Kelly graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 St. Jean Baptiste de La Salle Award recipient is Gary Oberstee. You're not a very good actor. <laughs> Look at that. Standing ovation from over there. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the castle president of Bishop Kelly will now present the Bishop's Medal. Each year, Bishop Kelly High School gives its highest honor, the Bishop's Medal, to one recipient who exemplifies the values of the school through a life of faith, service, dedication, and involvement. The class of 2021 has produced many wonderful disciples who love God and lead others. But one has risen to the top, Tyler Chacamel. Tyler has taken advantage of many opportunities at Bishop Kelly to develop his own interior life by attending and leading many retreats, offering morning prayers, serving mass, marching in DC for the rights of the unborn, representing both his parish and our school on the Youth Senate for the Diocese of Tulsa, and participating in the Ministry of Consolation as a member of the St. Joseph of Arimathea Paul Bearer's Society. As a result of his dedication to his own spiritual development, Tyler has become a pillar of wisdom and generosity for his classmates, who often seek out his gentle guidance. He uses every opportunity to love his classmates through his involvement in musicals, stucco, class board, retreat teams, academics, football, and track. Most of us have been on the receiving end of Shock's frequent, frequent hellos, words of encouragement and prayers. He makes it a point to know his peers and teachers and to be present to them. Tyler cares deeply about his classmates and makes sure that each person he encounters feels seen and known. His love of others stems from a steadfast devotion and love for Jesus Christ. Tyler consistently exemplifies the Beatitudes and very intentionally 
lives as a peacemaker. For these reasons, he was awarded as the recipient of the Theology Department's Father Stanley Rother Award this year. In the Gospel of Matthew, we hear Jesus tell his disciples, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. God's love for us is manifested through Tyler's consistent witness and discipleship. His joy and approachability draw each of us closer to God. He truly is a light for the world. Please join me in congratulating this year's Bishop's Medal recipient, Mr. Tyler Chacamel. At this time, Father Castle will confer the diplomas with Bishop Condorla. in the picture? Okay. That'd be great. With the recipient here. Do you just need back one step? Okay. Yeah. We're going to go out the way. Which way? Right back this way. So they're going to go right off the stairs. The wire pleasures Adams. Congratulations. George William Halleck. Let's go! 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 Congratulations. 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 Congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're going to look out. Thank you. Catherine Arnold. Thank you. Andrew Thomas Ashford. Leonardo Avila. Jace Daniel Bachman. Aubrey Ann Bailey. I gave you your first communion. Audrey Eileen Baird. Miles Murphy Ballard. Matthew Williamson Barlow. John Robert Montgomery Barrett. Nicholas Christian Barrett. Maria Starr. Joseph Stephen Barzalova. Maximus John Bauman. Noah Joffrey Biersler. Owen Tyler Beecroft. Griffin Thomas Bean. Hannah Joy Bennett. Jacob Allen Benoit. Benjamin Peter Bernard. Ethan Montgomery Berry. Grayson Cash Berryhill. Jeremiah Lewis Bessis. Barrett Ashley Biggs.
James Andrew Blazy. Michael Davis Bomprezzi. <laughs> Kent Douglas Borovich. Preston Breckenridge. Broderick Bennett Brown. Taylor Elizabeth Brown. Audrey Caroline Buford. Mason Christopher Butler. Grant Ives Calvert. Elizabeth Ann Campbell. Matthew Gabriel Chesbro. Jillian Elizabeth Lowe Christner. Aiden Paul Clancy. Anna Lee Ruman Kaufman. Catherine Claybrook Collier. Andrea Coronado. Sarah Cosio. John Douglas Cox. Reagan Elizabeth Cravings. Benjamin Gabriel Kreider. No road. <laughs> Darian Michelle Curry. Alan Dinescu. Samuel Lee Daniels. Evelyn Yvonne Davy. Parker Cade Davis. Maria Janella Diasis. Thomas James D. Mario Alejandro Delgadillo. How are you, Jenna? Good. Congratulations. Isabel Catherine Deller. Isabella Marie Denis. Alexander John DeBaris. Jenna Marie Descher. Avery Nicole Detterman. Rose Corinne Margaret DeWeese. Logan Michael Dill. Jeff P. Doan. Samuel David Duda. Eric Landon Dudley. Luke Pierce Earls. Mia Elaine Eberhard. Margaret Ann Elias. Jacob Robert Elliott. Elizabeth Ann English. Caroline Taylor Ernst. Sloan Marie Eshelman. Catherine Irene Evans. 
Anthony Michael Fatagante. Anna Colleen Fiacable. Georgia Grace Ford. Luke Warren Forsberg. Carla Elitzo Fortinel. Ethan James Frank. Lydia Ann Freet. Nathaniel Alexander Frege. Emma Elise Freddy. Caleb Bruce Fuquay. Catherine Grace Galbraith. Jose Daniel Garcia. Ryan Scott Gassaway. Jacob William Gendron. Claire Elizabeth Gintling. Aiden Stephen Gilchrist. Ian Timothy Gilchrist. Emma Michelle Glover. Colin Patrick Godfrey. Catherine Victoria Godfrey. Ethan Max Goen. Madeline Elizabeth Gomez. Diego Alejandro Gonzalez. John Dudley Grew. Grace Isabel Griffin. Dominic Francis Griggs. Annabelle Rose Grinzinger. Sarah Guzman. Abigail Catherine Hahn. Grayson Lee Hall. Gabriel Allen Harju. Lindsay Carol Hayes. Paige Elizabeth Haney. Owen Neil Heineke. John Thomas Heltzel. Haley Diane Hendren. Callahan Stephen Hensley. Ellie Grace Harold. Avery Nicole Heiger. Abigail Alexandra Hills. John Ho. Tyler Duke Tien Wong. Ross Andrew Holder. Elizabeth Caitlin Holmes. Abby Ruth Howard. Rachel Hoyos Duran. Jacob Clay Huber. Cameron Matthew Hunt. 
Abigail Ibarra. Kate Samuel Jeffrey Jackson. Colin J. Jackson. Connor Bradley Jansen. Zana Elise Jabara. Abigail Caroline Jeffries. Amber Rose Johnson. Andrew Austin Jolin. Tristan Zane David Jones. Anna Marie Kaiser. Mark Samuel Keeley. Carter Ann Kendrick. Cooper Logan King. Caitlin Grace Kierkoff. Samuel Mark Kosir. Emily Miranda Lapidus. Olivia Marie Lake. Ella Joy Levitt. Zachary Christopher Luwala. Ruth Ann Lieberman. Samuel Perryman Litchfield. Cameron Christopher Launce. Brandon Kale Lowry. Liam Hui Lu. Jennifer Luviano. Allison Elizabeth Major. Cameron Lee Major. Morgan Danielle Marcus. Grace Elizabeth Troxel Mar. Laurel Elizabeth Martich. Sabina Gray Martindale. Andrew Scott Mathis. Ethan Michael McKay. Mason Knight McKelvey. Grace Ann McCoy. Caleb Strider McCullough. Christopher James McMurray. Matthew Gregory Mercer. Catherine Oric Miley. Joseph Benjamin Miller. Aaron Ann Miller LeCare. Yeah! Abigail Dawn Mink. Sarah Elizabeth Mitchell. 
Avon John Molinar. Riley Cooper Montross. Abigail Jane Morey. Colin Michael Morrison. Jamie Marie Moosehafen. John Milam Moosehafen. Nathan Thomas Myers. Matthew Fisher Nelson. Weston Ryan Lee Nelson. Zachary Logan Nelson. Zachary Garrett Newhouse. Ashley Wynn. Jonathan Wynn. Nancy Trin Wynn. Tyler Andrew Wynn. Catherine Marie Emilio. Daniela Polaris. Ashton Kate Parkey. Shivani Patel. Anna Catherine Pierce. Jillian Marie Pilger. William Parker Pestle Duncan. Sable Grace Phillips. Chloe Bain Pierce. Jack Ryan Pixley. Matthew Barry Plaisance. Alexander Matthew Pollard. Delaney Ann Powell. Aiden Michael Rain. Sylvia Louise Getz Ralson. Joshua Vincent Ray. Aaliyah Ann Rail. Beverly Ann Riley. Anna Kate Ritchie. Mackenzie Ann Robinson. Alexander David Rogers. Adam Hyder Roy. Anna Kathleen Sabala. Nolan Cole Sauter. Elizabeth Renee Say. Ava Elizabeth Schneeberg. Ryan William Schneers. Tyler Brent Shockamel. <laughs> Haley Bell Scholey. Gabriella Rose Schultz. Mitchell William Simple. Bo Dylan Shintu. Gregory Michael Schilt. 
Jackson Payne Schaffner. Lily Elaine Moore Schreier. Reagan Nicole Schubert. Elizabeth Grace Smith. Clifton Carol Snellings III. Nora Viviana Solorzano. Nicholas Frederick Sorensen. Parker James Cameron Souter. Ellie Louise Spielman. Joseph Michael Schrauer. John Mark Steichen. John Riley Seuss. Daniel Walter Sullivan. Presley Michelle Sullivan. Sage Elizabeth Kehlani Summerlin. Sean Edward Sutton. Luke Robert Swords. Sarah Catherine Sinar. Nicholas Robert Talbot. James Cameron Talbert. Samuel Gray Taylor. Seth Michael Thetke. Jenna Page Thomas. Braden Douglas Thompson. Spencer Thomas Thor. Gabriel Min Tran. Michael Francis Tran. Teresa Hua Tran. Kate Elizabeth Tennell. Margaret Ann Turner. Lena Alyssa Van Dyke. Alexei Varadici. Angelica Victoria Moreno. Ashley Jordan Vrana. Elijah James Wallace. Ian Thomas Warlick. Zohair Faisal Wasi. Ronald Charles White III. Alexandra Lee White. Isabella Noel White. Kristen Elizabeth Wiseman. Kate McKinley Woodard. Catherine Fahey Yule.
Yeah. <laughs> Oh, very good. Awesome. It's so sort of photogenic there, so. You have a face like this. <laughs> <laughs> and humility. Graduates, would you please stand? As this newest Bishop Kelly alumni, you may now move your tassel. You may be seated. Here is a video of the sweet life of the class of 2021.
So class of 2021 and uh, the other guests, please stand for a final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary, Queen of Peace. Pray for us. St. John Baptist de La Salle. Pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. It is a pleasure to present the graduated class of 2021. All right, we'll start going down.